Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today we have a special video and it's a player review, but it's not like the other player reviews I've been doing because I thought that I might try this new method out. I'm still trying to figure out how to do a player review when I'm doing multiple players at once because it's it's a little bit difficult when I'm trying to review players that aren't strikers because last time I did this uh, when I was editing it and when I was trying to create the highlights for them I just kept having to play the same thing over and over again because uh, I ran out of highlights for them. Um, but that So that means that I want to just try a live version of a player review. When it's a player review for a striker, I have a pretty set method of doing that and it works pretty well in my opinion. But uh, I'll try this out and then you guys can tell me what you prefer. The uh, one where I record it and then talk over it with voiceover like I did last time for the English Championship players or if you like this live version better. Now in this live version, we're going to be using some very good players. Some of the highest rated players I've actually used all game, and I've actually packed three of these. So we have this team that we're using, the 4 triple two formation, Jorgensen, Dolberg, Tillemans, Denjianker, Elamadi, Tornstra, then Shaw, Smalling, Company, Munir, and Butland. Now the players I packed, it was on live stream yesterday, I got Tornstra first, then I got Elamadi, and then I got Dendonker. And the thing about Dendonker and Elamadi, they were in the three common gold players pack, so they weren't even in a rare pack. I was able to pack them. I decided to buy Jorgensen, Dolberg, and Telemans. In total, they cost me around like 130k, which is kind of crazy to think about, because these are really high rated players. The main person I'm really interested in reviewing is Dendonker, because he is a, he's basically rated like 92 in every position, except for goalkeeper, even at striker. The only thing about playing him at striker is he only has 78 finishing, so it's not really too good, but every other position, he is a beast. So we'll see if this new method, this new style of reviewing them works. If you guys like it, let me know by dropping a like on the video, also commenting, telling me just basically which one you prefer, and yeah, let's get into it, boys. All right, so the first opponent, actually, I've already played the first round. This is the Gilfie Sigurdsson team of the or knockout stage or whatever it's called, daily knockout tournament. This guy's a five-star 84 overall hunter come team. Very good team. The first guy I played was not too great at this game. This guy looks like he could be a lot better. Dolberg, here's Dendonker. Dendonker, keep going. Keep going. You got the strength. Oh, apparently he can't, he can't outstrength Smalling. Still, he can't outstrength Smalling. The tackle Dendonker. That's the first of several tackles Dendonker's going to make this game. Here's Shaw. I don't know why Luke Shaw is playing as a striker, but he plays it wide. Munir, can you center it? He does. Get there. Tillemans almost got that in near post. Okay, now I've switched to the 3-5-2 formation because I actually really like this formation. Tillemans and Dendonker in the middle. I took off Elamadi. I know he's his team of the season, but I'm not too concerned with him. So we'll see how Dendonker's still playing in that center defensive mid position, but he has a lot more responsibility now because he's only one of two uh, mid field. Oh, wow, Turnstra just scored that. Turnstra, we're also reviewing you, bro. Right after we switch formation, we get an interception. This is why I like this formation so much. Turnstra's now playing as a cam. That's really his best position. And what a hit inside post and in. Through Dolberg. Dolberg is going to play at Fjorgensen. Jorgensen, can you keep going? Shaw, Turnstra, turns it. Dolberg, Jorgensen, Tillemans, good interception. Tillemans, this isn't really his best position. He's kind of playing like a Pirlo role, where he's not great at defense, but he's playing a little bit further back. So he's going to have a lot of responsibility to play good passes to get forward. Oh, this is good play here. Tillemans, great ball. Munir cuts it back. Turnstra. Get there! Oh, what a save by De Gea. Dendonker, good header. Here's Dendonker. Go. Come on, Dendonker. This is what I'm wondering about. Does he have creative ability? Gets it to Turnstra. Turnstra plays it wide to Munir. Munir, can he cut it back? He still has it. Play it one more. Dolberg. Dendonker. Bang it! Oh, Dendonker, you gotta finish that. That's the thing. Dendonker has really good shot power and like good shooting stats, except his finishing is not very good. Great tackle by Dendonker. Dendonker caused this, and Turnstra could be on the end of it. Turnstra's not going to miss that. Turnstra has a great strike on him, but that was all caused by that tackle from Dendonker. I didn't even do anything. That was the computer just taking over. That was Jinjianker just taking over. So at the break, we're playing pretty well. In my review, we're playing the two best players thus far have been Turnstra and Dendonker. Turnstra's probably edged him a little bit just because he has more goals. 
Um, Dernstra, he's just he's had two opportunities. He's had some ins- insane passes. There have been incredible passes to Munir, who's really getting down that right wing. Dendonker has cleaned up everything. He's been box to box as well. That's what I'm noticing about this card as compared to the team of the group stage Dendonker. This Dendonker can actually get forward and do some damage. Telemans wins that in the air. Telemans has actually also been really good. He is cheap because he's so slow, but you can't sleep on him. Apparently this guy's mad that I'm doing my player review, and he wrote, he called me a son of a bitch in Espanol. Good thing I've been learning Spanish so I can understand the language, senor. I think that's 3-0. I should dab. Oh, we quit. I couldn't dab. I don't know how to react to the situation. I have some experience in this, so I think I know I have one line that I could go to. We'll see how he responds to that. All right, so after the first game, Dolberg actually, Dolberg, he got the man of the match 9.6, but I would say the man of the match was probably Turnstra with his two goals. He was really good for us. He was also wreaking havoc, making a lot of really good runs from Cam. Dendonker only a 7.5, but he was also behind Turnstra. I would say Dendonker was the second best player in that game. All right, the semifinal is coming up against a four and a half star 82 overall hunter come team. He's got Knockart, he's got Sun, Gale, and Shelby, that perfect link. I reviewed that before. If you haven't checked that out, check that video out. Conte Dembele, Inform Alonso, Inform Will Keen. Decent squad. From the couple of matches I played with El Amadi, I would say he's pretty good, but if you just look at his stats, you can tell that's not really an 87 overall stat card, like what it should look like. Uh, he doesn't go for too much though, so if you want to try him out, he's going to be okay, but he's also a little bit difficult to link unless you get those team links with Feyenoord. Oh, look at Dendonker. He's all over the place. Dendonker really is a box-to-box -box midfielder. Even though he has medium-high work rates, he's all over the place. All right, Dendonker now has to play with a yellow card, so we'll see how he does. And immediately he gets a tackle. I think he's all right. <laughs> Dendonker, another tackle. What can you say? He's just a tackling machine. He gets another tackle right after I say that. <laughs> play it now. Here's Turnstra. Turnstra's going to play it for Jorgensen. Finesse it. Oh, could have been a goal. This is what Dendonker is providing. Look at this from Dendonker. Look at it from Dendonker. Left foot. Does he have one? Oh no, that's that 78 finishing, boys. He's got a four star weak foot. He's really got to finish that. But he's on the ball again. Here's Dendonker. And he just banged it with the right foot. Oh my gosh, he struck that so well. What a save by Heaton. Here's Dolberg. Dolberg's going to hit one. Heaton makes another incredible save. Wow, he's keeping them in it. Oh, come on. Wow. Sonny just left foot. Don't know how that went in. I think my keeper should probably be saving that considering what Heaton has saved for him. All right, so at the break, we're down 1-0, but we've been the better team so far. Then Donker could be at fault for that goal that we gave up because he was kind of out of position. I've noticed that I didn't put any instructions on him. And I thought I wouldn't have to because medium high, I would assume that he'd be box to box, but he's kind of playing more like uh, high medium because he's not really playing too much defensively. And in this formation, I kind of want him to just sit back for the majority of the time. Come on, Dendonker, run. Run with those stats. Run with those stats played in behind. Dolber doesn't miss that. That's an assist to the boy, Dendonker. That's what he's doing, though. I keep mentioning, but with that team of the group stage card, he wouldn't have been able to pick that ball up, and he wouldn't have run. He's playing like Nangulan, essentially, because Nangulan has the offensive threat about him, and so does this Dendonker card. He might even actually be better. Dendonker, another tackle. Go the Den, go the Dendonker. Look at him. He's actually kind of shifty. That is up. Dendonker is there to clear it near post. Play one, two. Back for Jorgensen. Back for Dolberg. Casper Dolberg is actually outshining Jorgensen right now. Dolberg makes it 2-1 in the 80th minute. That's his second goal. He's about to play a match in like 15 minutes. If he has a good match, his price might actually go up. So it's kind of an investment opportunity. You guys might actually see this video too late though. Then Donker interception again. He's just everywhere, boys. Then Donker's name has been called the most in this match. Then Donker, another tackle. He's just had so many tackles. Come on, Jurgensen, you gotta get a goal. Is he onside? Is Jurgensen onside? Is he gonna chip the keeper? It. I think he saved that. I don't know. Jurgensen's gonna claim that goal 3-1. We're gonna go to the final. It was a pretty good game. 
especially for Dundonker. He was man of the match, in my opinion, yet again. Looking at the stats, it was actually Jorgensen who stole man of the match, and I thought he was not good. Like, I thought he was, especially considering Dolberg had two goals, I would say Dolberg was second man of the match, Dundonker was first, and Jorgensen was third. Uh, Turnstra played okay, Telemans was okay. Uh, let's look at how many tackles Dundonker had. He was 8 of 10 with the tackles. That is ridiculous. Alright, going into this final now, 5 star 84 overall 100 chem team, pretty standard squad, no special cards, which is kind of surprising because there are no stipulations anymore in this daily knockout tournament. Plays it, what a ball, I think he's offside, but that was still a great ball by Tillemans. Dendonker wants it back, here's Dendonker looking for that run, plays it into Turnstra, he's gonna bang it, Turnstra scores, Dendonker's passing is... This Dendonker card is honestly the best card I've used all FIFA. He's incredible, boys. I know it seems like a really simple pass from Dendonker right here, but the number of players with incredible passing stats who cannot do that for some reason is un it's unbelievable. And he's done it twice in two games perfectly. Turnstra. Here's Jorgensen. Jorgensen, can you bang it? Okay, Jorgensen decided to do something good. He honestly has been the most disappointing player, but when he's had a chance to score, he's usually taken it. It's just he hasn't gotten into those positions too often. He just found a lot of space right here. I don't know where, where his center backs are, and he's going to hit that in 9 times out of 10. Plays it in. Turnstra. Here's Turnstra with it. He's gonna bang it. Oh, Turnstra almost got another one. He's been one of the best goal scorers in this team. Dolberg, go through the middle. Here's Casper. Keep going, Casper. Casper, wait for him. There it is. It's a great pass for Turnstra. He's not gonna miss that. Turnstra's making some great runs. I packed Turnstra, and I don't think he's actually too expensive. Definitely buy him, boys. He's been behind Dendonker, second most impressive player. On any other player review, he'd be the most impressive player, but when you're going against Dendonker, it's a little bit unfair. Play it over the top. Great ball for Jorgensen. Jorgensen's gonna center this, and it's gonna be a hat trick for Turnstra. He makes it 4 0 right before halftime. Turnstra gets the hat trick. He's probably gonna end up being man of the match and I think it's deserved in this final. All right, because we're winning by a lot, I'm actually gonna send Den Donker up top because he's still, he's like a 91 rated striker. I don't recommend playing him here unless he scores a hat trick or something. I'm gonna say, just play him at center mid, center defensive mid, but we'll see what he can do here. I'm gonna need a center mid. I don't really have one, so I'll put um, Aspilicueta there, I guess. Go Den Donker, come on, striker Den Donker. I don't think he's actually scored for me, but he's showing some shiftiness. Den Donker, oh, you gotta finish that. That's the finishing. That's why you can't play him at striker, boys. He may be able to get through everyone, but the 78 finishing is not actually very good. Oh, he gets one back. 4-1, 60th minute. No need to panic just yet. Oh no, he scores again, 4-2. Is this actually becoming interesting? I don't know. 80th minute. There's the full-time whistle. We get the Gilfie Sigurdsson team of the season. But more importantly, we get to see what Dendonker, what Turnstra, what they were able to do for us, which is a lot. So there you see, Gilfie Sigurdsson unlocked 1,000 coins. Um, I'm pretty excited about that, I guess. In the second half, when I put Dendonker up front at striker just to see what would happen, we our defense pretty much melted. It was terrible. The entire second half, we are constantly getting hit on counterattacks, and I think that's just because Azpilicueta cannot do the same job as Dendonker does. Dendonker basically plays as like two center mids in that center mid position. So overall, for some of these players, let's review these tots. Dendonker, I would say, honestly, the best player I've used in FIFA for a center mid position. You can't play him at striker just because on Footwiz it says he has like a 91 for striker. That's not really true. He plays more like an 80 overall or something. But honestly, you're just kind of wasting him if you're going to play him at cam or like striker or center forward like that. Because he's just such a great defender. 92 defense, 93 physical. The only thing you could say is that he's kind of slow, but he's even not hes not even that slow when you're not controlling him. Um, so you could put a hunter chemistry style on him, get him to 90, 90, 90 for the pace, defense, physical stats. His dribbling, this card, compared to the team of the group stage, he's able to weave through people best card I've used by far. The other guy who I'd say was really good is Turnstra. 12 goals in 7 games, 4 assists. He's honestly been really good for us. High, high work rates, but he actually plays perfectly as a cam or center forward. Don't play him as striker, I tried that. It's not really made for that position. He's just an overall incredible attacking mid. 
Now Telemons, I would say if you're going to get Dendonker, you might as well get Yuri Telemons. He's not that expensive, like 30k for an 88 overall cam. I know the 66 pace scares a lot of people, but I didn't even have a Hunter Chemistry style or a Hawk, I just had basic. And he was fast enough for me. He made incredible passes, that's the 91 passing for you. He has 5 star weak foot, and he's, he's maybe the most important aspect is he has a perfect link to Dendonker. Now Jorgensen, I was actually a little bit disappointed in. Uh, he did score three goals, get six assists in four games, uh, but he's 80k, which is probably the most expensive player. He's even more expensive, I think, than Dendonker is, and he, he wasn't too great for us. Even though his stats look really good, I found that he was a little bit slow in his turning, and I kind of need one striker to be at least a little bit nimble, otherwise they're not really going to get past a player like Christopher Smalling. The other striker, Dolberg, actually was, he was a really good surprise for us. His stats don't look very good at all, if I'm going to be honest, like 70 passing and then 80 pace. There's a lot to be desired. But he was solid, he was clinical, I don't think he missed any chances for us as compared to Jorgensen who kind of just didn't really get into those positions in the first place. Dolberg was always getting into attacking positions, he had, seemed to have really good chemistry with Turnstra in terms of just knowing when one's going to make a one run and when one is going to pass to that run. He's also only 35k so it's like half the price of a Jorgensen and I would say he's even, he maybe is even better than Jorgensen. So overall you can see this team, I didn't try out El Amadi too much but his stats are okay, uh, he does get that team link to Jurgensen and Turnstra, so I would not be opposed to using him, but I'm not going to pretend that he's going to be the best center mid ever. He's probably like a pretty good player, you could use him in the weekend league, but coming against some other team of the seasons, other special cards, you're going to say he's not going to dominate them. So that's it boys, for the must buys I would say Turnstra, Telemans, Dendonker, and Dolberg are all must buys. Jurgensen is, uh, if you pack him, definitely use him, uh, but he's probably not worth the 80k in my opinion. And then Alamadi, he's only like 30k, so if you pack him or if you want to buy him and try him out to get some links or something, he's good enough. That's going to be this player review. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. I don't really know. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. Tell me which, which style you liked more in the comment section down below. I'll see you boys next time, and as always, don't forget to spare patch.